Jennifer Thompson. I'm the Small Acreage Outreach Coordinator with the state. I'm housed out of the University of Wyoming Cooperative Extension Service, but I serve the Small Acreage uh, Project, which is, is made up of multiple organizations around the state, including the UW Cooperative Extension Service, Wyoming State Forestry Division, Conservation Districts, Weed and Pest, and Audubon, Wyoming, and NRCS, among others. So I would like to introduce our speakers for today. Our first speaker will be Brian Anderson, Assistant District Forester for Wyoming State Forestry Division in Casper. Our second speaker will be Cindy Allen, Forester for Bureau of Land Management with the High Plains District in Casper. And last but not least, Nick Williams, Project Forester from Northern Laramie Range Integrated Forest Management Project will be talking to us as well. So we should get a lot of great information about pine beetles today. So I'm going to be passing the microphone and if you hear a pause and some crackling, that's just us passing the mic. So don't be alarmed. Just a moment. Hello everybody. This is uh, Brian Anderson. Again, I'm uh, with Wyoming State Forestry out of Casper, Assistant District Forester, and uh, welcome. I'm just going to get the slide going here. Um, basically, what the mountain pine, what is a mountain pine beetle? It's uh, one of our western bark beetles that attacks mostly pine trees, or well, attacks pine trees. Um, pine trees we mostly think about would be uh, logical pine, ponderosa pine, and limber pine. It is native to North America um, and is <clears throat> responsible for a large amount of mortality in our pine forests. As you can see, it's about the size of a match head. Impacts to Wyoming are, uh, it's right now it's a top threat to Wyoming forests um, of our native bark beetles. Um, an additional 314,000 acres of tree mortality was recorded in 2010 in our surveys, totaling uh, 1.1 million acres since the mid 1990s. Um, majority of this mortality is related to mountain pine beetles specifically. And uh, I'll speak a little bit about mountain pine beetle levels across the state. This is a map of the uh, surveys that uh, the land management agencies did last year across Wyoming. You can see the dark um, red areas are mountain pine beetle, the blue areas are spruce beetle, and the, the yellowish or uh, gold color is Douglas fir beetle. As you can see in the southern part of the state, the Snowy Mountains and the Sierra Madre Mountains, um, it's pretty heavy. And you can see heavier infestations in the west, Jackson and then Wind Rivers and up by Cody. And uh, with mountain pine beetles starting in the Laramie Range and yes. up in the Black Hills starting to move in. I um, got the in information from the other district foresters from the, around the state work for state forestry, and uh, this is some of the information that they passed on to me. Um, district 1, which is the northeast part of the of the state, mostly the Black Hills, um, the mountain pine beetles are just getting started. They're moving in from the west, from South Dakota, and they're dealing with some pretty large infestations moving in there. Um, in South Dakota, the pine beetle is a serious epidemic levels, affecting over 400,000 acres um, in 2010. One state forestry division uh, is actively educating landowners in those areas in northeastern Wyoming. Management practices uh, include direct control and planning, and usually a little of both. These practices are done on private, state, and federally owned lands. The amount of land checked is 9,000 acres with 3,300 bug trees identified, 2,620 were treated in 2010. The Black Hills National Forest is maintaining a very active timber program and is act actively, uh, aggressively going after these infested trees. District 3, which is the northwest part of the state, um, in 2010, Mom Pine Beela has infested about 80% of the mature pine forests in the Dubois area. Grant funds to remove standing dead on private lands that being used. The mountain pine beetle infestation is about as bad in nature, is <clears throat> bad in nature above Lander in the Homestead Park area near Sinks Canyon to South Pass. 2008 2009, the mountain pine beetle took much of the mature stand pines out of the Sunlight Basin area. 
district four, which is basically the west of the divide. Um, Teton County epidemic seems to be lessening the management of removing currently infested trees, thinning stands, and using preventive spray in 2010. Sweetwater County, amount of trees limited, amount of trees limited countywide, some reports of infestations in urban forests. New Inta County, ep epidemic seems to be lessening due, no, due to no more food source. Basically, mature trees are, uh, there's not many left. So, and no management or control methods are being used. So, Blanton Lincoln counties are very similar to New Inta County. District 5, which is the cent north central part of the state, including the Bighorn Map Mountains. Um, Mount Pine Bay activity in the Bighorn saw decreases during 2010. Aerial observations show that Mount Pine Bay activity in the KC area has stopped. Two active spots were identified, one on the face of Mount Long Highway 14 above Dayton, and the other between Story and Buffalo. Other smaller pockets are scattered throughout the range. Plans are to reduce stand densities to ensure Mount Pine Bay levels stay low. Discovered a major increase in western balsam bark beetles at high elevations in the spruce fir spruce fir forest. District two is which is, a, is the district I work on, not Casper here, is the southeast part of the state. The Laramie Range has seen a large increase in mountain pine beetle infestations in their lodgepole pine forest, with slight increases in the lower elevation ponderosa pine. Removal of mountain pine beetle infested trees and thinning of susceptible stands are being implemented on state private and some federal lands. The Snowy and Sierra Madre ranges have lost nearly 90% of the mature lodgepole pine forest, with mountain pine beetle infestation slowing due mostly to the lack of mature pine trees for them to infest. We're seeing uh, quite a large increase in the Ferris and Shirley Mountain areas. They removed the mountain pine beetle moved in there very heavily, especially in the limber pine, where the white pine blister has weakened the trees. And we do have high mortalities in lodgepole as well. So uh, that's one thing we saw. We're seeing the progression north from the um, Sierra Madres and the Snowy Mountains. Um, I'd say 50% of the pine forests and the, the Shirley's are infested and they're really moving into the higher elevation lodgepole pine in the Laramie Peak Range. So now um, the Ponderosa pine forests at lower elevations are uh, um, seen it's increasing from about one or two trees to about maybe 10 to 15. So uh, landowners are very, are being very aggressive in going after those trees. So uh, um, that's what we uh, push vigilance at this point. Um, Casper Mountain Forest Stewardship Association purchases uh, bait lures for funnel traps used on Casper and Muddy Mountains. We use these to uh, to monitor the flights of the mountain pine beetle. There are 12 to 16 layered funnel trap, and we put the bait lure in that. It's a three part lure. Uh, beetles are attracted to the bait, they fly to the trap, they slide down a series of funnels and are collected a white cup at the bottom. And uh, we pull those cups off and we count the amount the of uh, beetles in that cup for that week. Traps are set in pairs and scattered throughout prime locations on Casper and Muddy Mountain, which are located in, on the northern end of the Laramie Range. This is what a funnel trap looks like. It's been set up in the Ponderosa Pine Forest on the east end of Casper Mountain. Eight funnel traps using Mount Pine Beetle Bay were used on Casper Mountain in 2010 to track Mount Pine Beetle flights. Four traps were using Bay Lure were set on Money Mountain and uh, to track the flights that year. The funnel traps were set out June 17, 2010, and the funnel traps were last checked on September 23rd, 2010. 2009 conclusions. The Laramie Range, the mountain pine beetle started flying around July 1st. We had two separate flight peaks that year, which was very unique on Casper Money Mountain. The first and smaller peak occurred approximately July 23rd, and the second and larger peak occurred approximately August 20th. The mountain pine beetle concluded conclude infestations approximately April 8th, I mean, September 8th. Conclusions for 2010 in the Modern Laramie Range. Mount Pine, Pine Beetle flight started about July 1st again, as it was it did the year before. Had a small flight the first week in July, the majority of flight occurring around July 10th to August 10th. 
2010. The flight ended at the same time the previous years in the second week of September. A significant decrease in the population of money in Castremont occurred from 2009 to 2010. Mount Pinebeal infestation progression, the number of Mount Pinebeal captured and traps tripled from 2008 to 2009 on Muddy Mountain with a single high trap count of 2,527 beetles occurring on August 20th, 2009, compared to 591 beetles um, on August 7th, 2008. The number of Mount Pine Beetle captured and traps decreased from 2009 to 10 on Castro and Muddy Mountains with the highest single trap count of 372 occurring 17th of July on Muddy Mountain. This is a, a graph of the, the flights on Casper and Muddy Mountain. The blue dotted line is a flight in 2009 on Muddy Mountain. As you can see, there's two peaks, the smaller peak and the larger peak that goes off the graph. And the peaks coincide with the red dotted lines on Casper Mountain. And then, as you can see, the blue and red solid lines from 2010, there was a single major peak. And uh, that's what we're used to seeing with Mount Pine Beetle flights. But there was a uh, marked decrease in numbers. 2011, um, we're planning on doing some uh, using funnel traps again to monitor the flights. 10 funnel traps will be used uh, using Mount Pine Beetle Bay Lure to set on Casper Mountain to track flights. We'll have four traps again on Muddy Mountain to do the same. Two funnel traps are using Western Balsam Bark Beetle Bay Lure will be set on Casper Mountain because we're seeing an increase in uh, Western Balsam Bark Beetle on the mountain and we want to see what their flights are because they generally have more than one a year. Traps will be set out approximately June 17, 2010. Traps will be checked in until beetle flights have ceased. Current infestation locations on Castro Mountain. Small pockets of one to 10 trees occurring in various areas on Castro Mountain. Most identified infestation areas are small and resulting from areas untreated in the last two or three years. Areas that have not been spotted in several years could also have problems with infestations. Rate of spread. In 2002, the rate of spread average averaged one infested tree to two newly infested trees. In 2009, we saw a large jump where uh, we had a one to eight ratio. One infested tree could infest up to eight new trees the following year. In 2010, the rate of spread is, was somewhere around one to one or one to two, which is very, very low. 